start. Okay, guys. I thought I should share my thoughts on the one of the greatest unsolved mysteries of all time. That is the Mount Kailash mystery. The Mount Kailash is just about 60,000 plus meters high. It is uh, much shorter than Mount Everest. The Mount Everest has been conquered by around 4,000 people. Some of them young, some of them old, some of them handicapped, some of them women. But then not a single soul has conquered Mount Kailash. Except there is a myth that a Tibetan monk by name Milarepa has uh, conquered Mount Kailash. There is no conclusive evidence on this, just a myth. But even legendary mountaineers like Reinhold Misner, Jesus, they all failed to conquer Mount Kailash. Let's see why. You know, a lot of uh, mystical explanations have been given for this. But then I would like to approach this from the scientific angle. All religions, many religions like Hinduism, Buddhism, uh, Buddhism, they all believe that this is a holy mountain and they believe their uh, deity lives here. For Hindus, it's believed that Lord Shiva lives on Mount Kailash. Now, let me try and tell you what is the science behind this mountain. Let's take a look at uh, some of the slides. Yeah. So, I want to start this session with a shocker. Mount Kailash is not a mountain. It is not a mount. <coughs> the term Mount Kailash itself is a misnomer. Just take a look closely. This is not a mountain. This is a pyramid. See, this is a typical multi-level stone structure of a pyramid. It's hidden under layers of snow, but still it's very clearly visible. You know, just to give you uh, clarity on this, we'll take a look at Mount Everest and see how the texture, how the appearance differs entirely. Mount Everest, uh, can you skip one slide and go to Mount Everest and come back? Next. Okay, next. Look at this. This is smooth sides, this is Mount Everest. This is a typical mountain. Back to Kailash. First line. Okay. Look at this. This is definitely not a mountain. This is not a mountain. This is a pyramid. Now, before we get go further into this, let me explain something about pyramids. Back to top. There have been very many theories about how pyramids were built. As you know, pyramids are made of huge blocks of stone. Many of these blocks weigh many tons. And it's impossible even for modern technology to raise up these stones to these great heights of the pyramids. So, how do you imagine ancient Egyptians did this? There are many theories. Some of them, I would like to make a joke of each one of them. One of the theory is that they used police to, you know, thousands of men pulled up these stones to this height using police. You know, even the latest scrape with the greatest strength and greatest power cannot lift a solid block weighing so many tons to this great height of a pyramid. How do you think a pulley can do it? It's just a joke. The pulley theory is nothing but a joke. There have been ramp theories. You know, ramp is a sloping 
uh, pathway. There have been two types of ramp theories. One, an external ramp through which thousands of people pulled up the huge blocks of stone. But then the funny thing is, who built the ramp and how did they build the ramp to such height? If they can build the ramp to such height, there is no need of building a ramp at all. They could do the same with the pyramid. See, it's impossible to build a ramp with such, which can uh, withstand such weights. The boulders, stones weighing tons being pulled up to such great heights, hundreds of meters. If it is a ramp, who built the ramp? If they could build a ramp like that, they don't need a ramp, they can build the pyramid as well. And then there is this internal ramp theory, a ramp within the pyramid, which uh, sounded somewhat more sensible and scientific. Again, you know, if you can build a ramp, whether internal or external, you, you might as well build a pyramid with the same technology. It's impossible to build this ramp, a ramp which can hold, which can withstand Boulders which weigh several tons is just impossible. All this leaves us with only one option. Pyramids were never built by man. It is impossible for him, even today. Pyramids are not natural structures. Pyramids are for sure built by extraterrestrials. Aliens, you know, the common, the simple, simpler word would be aliens. You know, some of the research, the pyramid researchers, they have found precise landing pathways for spacecrafts or flying saucers or whatever near the pyramids, running into several kilometers with micron precision, which is not possible. It's not possible to uh, draw a pathway with such precision, even with modern uh, instruments. It's absolutely clear, there's no shadow of doubt that pyramids were built by aliens. You know, there is also something else. The Most of these pyramids are positioned in such a way that they point at a star by name Polaris. We'll check that visual, Polaris and Pyramids. Okay, you can see that these structures point at the Polaris star. So there's a belief that these aliens came from this particular star. You know. Now I'm not debating on this. I'm trying to tell you that Mount Kailash is another pyramid. Unlike the Egyptian pyramids, Mount Kailash is still very much alive with aliens. It is inhabited with aliens. A lot of people have seen spaceships, you know, flying saucers or whatever, coming in and going. And the nearby lake Mansarovar, there's a lot of alien activities going on. Landings, takeoffs, whatever. I assure you, Mount Kailash is not a mount. Mount Kailash is not a mountain. Mount Kailash is not man-built. Mount Kailash is not natural. Mount Kailash is an extraterrestrial structure which is very much alive and inhabited with aliens at this point of time. And each religion calls the inhabitants of Mount Kailash by different names. Maybe Lord Shiva for Hindus, something else for Buddhists. I repeat, Mount Kailash is not a mount at all. It is neither man-made nor made by nature. It is made by extraterrestrials. Thank you.